Okay, I am going to demonstrate uh, some of the functionality of uh, pivot tables in Excel. And uh, pivot table is a powerful data processing uh, feature in Excel. It allows us to quickly summarize large data sets and get uh, some meaningful information out of them. All right, so here I have uh, some probably survey data that's just looking at people, their ages, uh, incomes, marital status, things like that. And uh, we want to try to see if we can understand something about this data. So uh, I'm going to start by inserting a pivot table. So I'm going to go to the Insert menu and Insert Pivot Table. All right, and uh, as long as you're somewhere in your data set, it should just pick up the, the whole range, as long as you don't have a blank row or a blank column. All right, so you can see here that, oh, the data set has uh, 6,400 records in it, so a pretty big data set. I'm going to click OK, and uh, I end up with this kind of odd-looking spreadsheet. And uh, I'm going to start by just getting the one of the uh, field headings over here, and I'm going to click on it and drag it over to where it says Drop Value Fields here. All right, and uh, I'm picking Income because it's something that I can analyze. Okay, so you can quickly get a sum of all the income. All right, and the income happens to be in thousands, so this is saying it's uh, 447,277,000 is the total of income. All right, so the pivot tables default every time I put something in the value field settings for the first time, they default to sum. Okay, and we want to change that, so I'm going to come up here into where it says field settings and I'm going to change the sum to average. All right, so just like that, I quickly have an average of all the incomes. All right, so that was something that, yeah, you could have easily done by just writing a formula in the original spreadsheet, okay? But I still think this is much faster. What you can't easily do in the other spreadsheet is start comparing certain uh, income. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the field list again and I'm just going to check marital. Alright, so uh, we're looking at marital status. Okay, and so I can either click and drag the fields from the right over to the left or as you saw I can just check the boxes here but Excel doesn't always do a great job of, of putting the data where you want it. So I'm going to click on where it says sum of marital and drag that into rows. All right, and so then quickly we have um, separated and got the average by marital status. So the zero are the people who are unmarried, the ones are the people who are married. All right, and we can just take a look and see, oh, is there any difference between their incomes on average? It looks like it is pretty similar. All right, I'm going to uh, reformat the data here. All right, so the easiest way to do it is from the from the number menu. All right, so sometimes uh, these formats won't work. All right, so if I try to t change it into a percent or a dollar sign, I'm going to end up with something that says, "Oh, you can't do that." All right, so if you want to modify the format, you should do it from the from the uh, full format format menu, or you can right click and format cells as well. Okay. All right, one of the other nice things you can do in these pivot tables is you can add graphs. Okay, so I'm going to add a graph. All right, and it's a dynamic graph, so as soon as I start making changes to my pivot table, all right, I am going to see uh, the graph update. Okay, so uh, here we can see that, oh, it looks like there's this huge difference between... Um, income whether you're married or single all right and, and actually it's uh, it's a little over a thousand dollars so it's not that big of a difference all right so you have to sort of be careful about the formatting of the y-axis all right let's see if there's any uh, difference if we add another another category to our list or our, our table all right so I'm going to add gender and see oh is there any difference between married and single women and their income all right so I'm going to click on gender and drag it down to the columns. 
Okay, and so you can see, all right, our table updated, that's nice. And um, it does look like there's a difference. It looks like that women sort of make more, all right, and it's um, on the order of $4,000 more if they're single. And then suddenly, uh, when, when you get married, men make a lot more. All right, on the order of uh, six or eight thousand dollars. All right, and then yeah, anything that you can do with the chart. All right, as far as modifying the axes, you can do that with this pivot chart. So I'm going to go in here and format the axis to be a little more readable. All right, and I'm going to change the major unit from two to five. All right, and just um, doing that is enough to probably make the chart a, a little bit better or a lot better. All right, I could probably uh, reduce the maximum to 75. I'm going to leave it like it is. Okay. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea of some of the quick data processing you could do if you tried to do that in the original sheet. It would take uh, uh, significantly longer than the few seconds or minutes it's taken me to, to sort of explain how to do it. Okay. And uh, when you want to start over, Okay, all you have to do is sort of uncheck boxes or you can actually click and drag them from the left to the right to, to sort of start over. It's, it's I think, easier to, to uncheck the boxes. Okay, all right, I'm going to uh, switch gears here a little bit and let's say we want to uh, look at a histogram of income instead of we want wanting to look at averages and compare you know, marital status and genders, I'm going to instead make a histogram and see um, what people make um, or, or sort of organize the, the, the income into categories. So I'm going to go back into the Analyze tab here, all right, and I'm going to go to the Value Field Settings again, all right, and uh, I'm going to change it from Average to Count, okay, and by changing it to Count, I can see that obviously my chart needs a little help, but um, I can see how many people in total there are in this sample. Okay, and uh, then I'm going to put income itself as a row. All right, and what this is going to do is give me a count of each income level and how many people make. Uh, that specific income. All right, so for instance, uh, the first uh, value here is nine, and it looks like 28 people make $9,000 out of this sample. Okay, so uh, obviously the chart's a little bit hard to read, so I wouldn't want to present that to anybody. So I'm going to make a couple of changes. All right, so another one of the nice things you can do in here is group data together. All right, so maybe you think that uh, income. Um, ranges of maybe five or ten thousand uh, dollars are, are grouped such that well those people look about the same what I'm going to do here is right click and select group okay and uh, I'm going to sort of set a cutoff all right so sort of a lower end and uh, I'm going to start at twenty thousand Okay, and uh, I'm going to not go by increments of a hundred thousand. I'm going to go by increments of ten thousand. All right. So effectively, I'm saying that well, I think that uh, people who make about twenty thousand dollars a year are, are very similar to people who make about thirty thousand dollars a year. So um, maybe you agree with that. Maybe you don't. That's fine. Um, this demonstration, uh, it'll have to do. All right, so after I make those changes, I'll just click OK. And all right, obviously our chart still needs a little bit of help here. All right, but uh, you can you can easily see that. Oh, OK, out of our sample, um, about 600 people make less than 20,000. All right, 1,100 people make between 20 and 29,000. OK, and uh, just over 1,000 make between 30 and 39,000. All right, the problem with the chart is that, okay, almost nobody makes huge amounts of money, all right, out here, 
All right, so what I'm going to do is go back into the grouping and put sort of all these people into one group. It's going to make a little spike at the end of the chart, but um, it'll, it'll make the rest of the chart much more readable. So I'm going to right click and go back into group. Okay, and I think I will cut it off at, it looks like, um, maybe 250,000 is a good place to cut it off. Okay. All right, and then doing that, um, you know, if I spread the chart out a little bit, it'll, it'll be even better. All right. And if I modify the axis over here, Okay, so it still has our it still has our values from um, from the previous setup. All right, so uh, I'm just going to change the major unit to probably fifty thousand. All right, see how that looks. All right, still a little tight. All right, but um, that's going to have to do for now. All right, so uh, hopefully that gives you uh, an idea of uh, some of the power um, that these pivot tables have. And um, obviously this is not meant to be comprehensive, but just gets you sort of introduced to the idea of pivot tables. So thanks for watching.